In this quick video, I'm going to show you guys how to sell SafeMoon version 2 on the SafeMoon wallet. But as always, this is not financial advice. I'm not financial advisor. I'm not responsible if this process changes or if you get this process wrong. With that, I am already logged into my SafeMoon wallet. We can see I've got 45,535 SafeMoon version 2 tokens that I would like to swap to BNB and withdraw. So to get started, I click on that swap button in the bottom middle. Then I use the arrows in the middle there to make sure that SafeMoon is at the top and BNB is on the bottom because I am swapping SafeMoon version 2 to SmartChain. Once I've got that sorted, go ahead and change my slippage to 5%. You can try higher, you can try lower. 5% has been working for me, so do so at your own risk. It is automatically set to 12%, uh, but yeah, 5% has been working for me fine. Then I need to decide how much I'd like to sell. And in this case, I'm going to go with 25% of my balance. So I go ahead and I click on that 25% marker there. And it brings through 11,383 tokens, which is 25% of my balance. We can see now it says how many Smart Chain BNB I'm expected to get, which is 0 0.0627. And once I'm happy with that, it says this there's like this pop-up at the bottom it says there's a very small one-time fee to enable this token for swap i.e typically a few cents so i go ahead and i click approve because i personally am happy with that and then we can see after a couple of seconds i get this error message that basically says i do not have enough bnb available as gas to swap everybody comments and asks about this so i do want to bring it up there is no cheat code or way around this at least that i know of there is only two ways around this and they both involve adding smart chain bnb to your safemoon wallet option one is to buy the smart chain on safemoon option two is to take some bnb from another wallet or another exchange send that to your safemoon wallet and then go ahead and do the transaction which is what i chose to do so really quickly, I'll show you how I did that. I went over to my Binance account and you can see here, if I click on spot, I have 0 0.088 BNB. So then I go ahead and click withdraw and then I need my SafeMoon address. So I jump back to my SafeMoon wallet. I go ahead and I click on uh, BNB. I then click on receive and I copy that wallet address. Then I come back, I paste that wallet address in the top there the network is automatically selected as Binance Smart Chain. Uh, it's not obviously just Binance uh, Chain because it's Smart Chain. So make sure that's selected. Go ahead, click continue. Decide how much you want to send. In my case, I'm going to opt for uh, the maximum because it's not that much. I've only got 0 0.088. And then go ahead and click withdraw. So once I do that, I need to confirm my order, just check everything's all right. There is a network fee for this transaction. Uh, at the time of filming, it's 0 0.0005 BNB, which is not a lot at all. And go ahead, click confirm. And then we can see my withdrawal request has been submitted. It takes about five seconds, five seconds, five minutes to complete. So if I run back over to my SafeMoon wallet now and I start frantically refreshing my balance like you do, you will notice that my smart chain balance goes ahead and increases. I've now got 0 0.089 in smart chain. So now I can repeat the process once again and actually, hopefully, the transaction will go through. So I go ahead, click on that swap button in the bottom middle. Swap around SafeMoon at the top, smart chain at the bottom. Change the slippage to 5% then you will notice it says the fee i am being charged your fee may be different at the time uh, that you are completing this transaction my maximum fee that i was going to be charged was 0 0.0049 and then a load of numbers that i'm not going to read out go ahead click that swap button you've then got 10 seconds to confirm your swap transaction so again yours will be different here depending on a whole host of factors uh, we can see the minimum amount I'm expected to receive, the price impact and the safe moon swap fee. If I'm happy with everything, which I am, go ahead, click that confirm swap bot bottom <laughs> button. Uh, from there, you can see that I have the BSC scan link. I can go ahead, I can click on that and I can see the transaction in real time. Uh, otherwise, I can go back and I can start frantically refreshing my SafeMoon balance, uh, my SafeMoon wallet, sorry, once again. And once I have, you can notice that my SafeMoon balance has gone down to 34,151 tokens and my Smart Chain balance has increased to 0 0.141 tokens. Now it's simply a case of withdrawing those BNB Smart Chain. 
So to do that, I click on Smart Chain, I click on Send, and I would go ahead and I would get my wallet. Now I sped this up because I encountered an error for 13 days that like that made it impossible for me to do this. So I got my wallet address, I pasted that in, I went ahead, I said I wanted to withdraw the maximum amount. Then I would come over and confirm and I would get we're transferring and then I would get this error just here. I, I don't even know what it like even means. The operation could not be completed. Web3, Swift, Web3, error, error, one. I tweeted about this. I shared it in my YouTube community. Nobody knew what this was about. I still don't know what this is about. But luckily, after 13 days of trying, SafeMoon Wallet was updated and this error seems to have been fixed. So I could complete this transaction. So what I did, again, came back. And I'm going to walk you through this process a little slower now. So I went to my Binance account, clicked on spot, clicked on BNB, and I clicked on the deposit button. Then I went ahead and I selected Binance Smart Chain because that is what I am sending from SafeMoon. That's the wallet address I need. Remember, if you get the wrong network, uh, there's no guarantee that your cryptocurrency will ever arrive. So do make sure you get the correct network. Then my address will load. Go ahead and I copy that deposit address by clicking on those two buttons just there. You can see it's copied to clipboard. And then I paste in my address and select the BNB amount, which in this case, I selected the maximum amount. And once I am happy with everything there, I go ahead and I can click on that send button. And then it just says confirm send. And this is where I was encountering, encountering? encountering the error earlier. So I went ahead, clicked on send and we can see it loads properly now. And it says we're transferring. And then it says it's been sent, transfer pending. And again, this is on the Binance Smart Chain. So this transaction only took a couple of minutes to go through. I can click on the BSC scan link and see it in real time. As the transaction comes through, you can see I get a couple of pop-ups from the SafeMoon wallet there. But if I go back to my BNB balance here on Binance and I start frantically refreshing, you will see that it does increase and that the BNB has appeared from my SafeMoon wallet. So that is how you sell SafeMoon back to BNB and then send your BNB to an exchange whereby you can then trade it either for an entirely different cryptocurrency or withdraw it into your bank account. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please click like. It really does help out me and the channel and signals to other people watching this video that this is the tutorial to follow. If you're interested in more SafeMoon videos, go ahead, click that subscribe button. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one.